Hi there, meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's talk about what's going on out here because we have our newest tropical low, actually kind of a monsoonal gyre type of setup. Now, if you're new to the Western Pacific or just that term monsoonal gyre, you got to remember whenever we mention that with tropical systems, it's not so much the center of circulation that we're ter terribly worried about. It's the overall wind flow. And anytime we mention monsoonal gyre, there's been multiple cases of this over the past decade. We're always talking about the rainfall as being the main threat and really with this area that very well could be the case because the center of circulation right here expected to track towards the west here across Luzon but already looking at those showers which for the last few days been seeing them into Cebu down towards Mindanao and as we go ahead into the weekend and into next week we're going to really see that inflow pick up with that river of moisture across the Philippines. Now the good news especially in places like Manila it has been hot recently temperatures into the 40s that will cool it off and also bring some much needed rainfall to some of the reservoirs and dams out here but on the flip side of things too much rain in a short period of time really can cause that threat of flooding and landslides so here's a look ahead into thursday our low on wednesday through thursday our low tracks right over luzon bringing much needed rainfall to places like the kagahain valley but too much to mention can cause problems but then you look back towards the west it's that river of moisture around this broad circulation here that's going to increase showers and windy conditions along the west coast for western Palawan, Mindoro, southwestern Luzon including Metro Manila all the way down towards maybe even to Cebu the Mindanao you're actually probably going to get the break for most of this but the northern half of the Philippines boy that rain is going to kick up and is this could even stretch heading into the weekend all the way back towards Okinawa with that center pushing out there towards Hainan and in the southeastern areas of China. But this is a classic monsoonal gyre type of setup where you get that low in the center, but then you get that broad circulation of flow coming around it, creating that threat of flooding and even landslides here. And just taking a look at the rainfall total over the next five days, there's your center, moves over Luzon, bringing that much needed rain place like the Magad Dam. But then look at the moisture flow that sets up every area in here, indicates over 50 millimeters in red, but I think some areas could see as much as three to 400 millimeters before all this is said is done. What is a monsoonal gyre? As I mentioned, this is just a diagram just showing that center of circulation. And then we get these little vortices that form in that river of moisture all around the outer core of that center. Now, this could become a tropical storm. Sometimes it does. It really is one of those weird definitions, actually. Uh, sometimes agencies call them tropical depressions, or tropical storms. Sometimes they're like, well, there's no real defined center. Yeah, regardless, yeah, these are gonna be the main warnings. So if you're in the Philippines, don't watch for those signal force warnings. Of course, watch for this. I, I take that back. Of course you wanna watch for the signal force warnings, but these are the main ones you want to be aware of. Uh, know those information from official sources too, not just me. Thank you very much for watching here, but Pagasa. And uh, prepare to evacuate if needed, especially if you're in a flood prone area as this storm does start to develop. Looking at the high resolution, our center there, but watch back towards Visayas. So we got Mindoro, uh, back towards places like Iloilo, even all the way back towards uh, yeah, northern areas of Cebu, but especially Palawan, increase those showers coming in from the west. And that's really gonna be the, uh, the main issue here with our river of moisture. The good news, yeah, it's gonna recharge the water supply out there for some of those dams that have been running low, but definitely is going to be causing that threat of some flooding as well. All right, so here on our Thursday, needless to say, I just said it many, many times, Cebu showers there for you, even over towards Tacloban, Legazpi, 31 degrees, Rojas at 29. Heavier rain the further north we go, though, out here towards Western Manor. Look at the temperature, only getting up to 27. So the increase in the cloud cover is going to cool things off a bit. Unfortunately, it brings the rain with it. And then back towards the north, Subic Bay at 31. And then Region 1 and Region 2 in northern Luzon. It's going to get all in the rain. Look at Iligan, actually, even into the 40s recently, only showing a high of 20. 28 degrees there. All right, look at the hour by hour, not just isolated afternoon into Manila, but here on our Wednesday, it's pretty much just gonna be scattered showers through the evening and then scattered showers all the way through the day as well 
on Thursday. Anyways, big thanks for um, Metro Weather, Weatherscape. That is the graphics you see behind me. If you like them, you can support this channel by clicking the join button on our YouTube page or visiting our Patreon in the link down below. Also, our big goal is to get up to 100,000 subscribers, which hopefully one day we get there so we can get this channel verified. So if you hit that subscribe button, it'll be going a long way to helping us out. Big thanks for everybody on Patreon. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end here. We still have the outro, so as always, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.